these videos are proudly brought to us by Optics, Nanotechnologies and Red Hot Internet Solutions. Alright guys, don't forget to jump on aussiegaragetv.com.au We've got t-shirts such as the one I'm wearing. Yep. We've got these awesome hoodies in at the moment and believe yep. me, oh, they, are, right now. they are warm as toast. Yep. We've also got bucket hats and we've got our trucker caps. Is that a trucker cap? Yeah, it's an A-frame hat. A-frame hat, no, 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 whatever the A-frame hat is. And also, we've got these Sandman surfboards, limited edition Holden certified boards. Definitely so, licensed Holden certified boards. And yep. They're all, and they've got logos on the back of it. Just yep. prove it. All right, so jump on the website, check all this out. All our surfboard designs are up there. There are even some new designs coming out soon. Let's get into the video. Okay. All right, Tony, so we're <laughs> we're in your man cave here. Yeah, this and, is... Um, I'm, I'm pretty stunned with the amount of stuff that you've collected over the years. Man, how on earth did all of this get started? Well, it started back in about 76. I started picking old grills up in the bush yeah. and hubcaps. And then uh, over the years, uh, you know, I moved to Pinjarra and picked a bit more stuff up there. And I've been here 28 years now and I've just keep... Can't keep stop yeah, looking, can't yeah. keep finding stuff. There's yeah. always that one thing you haven't got and you keep looking for it and then you'll find a few other things. But... Uh, yep. I just love the Holden advertising, the, the, you know, the chrome gear that come off them. Yeah. Now, the Holden advertising is something I wanted to talk to you about because, I mean, it's the, the walls are lined. Yeah. And you've, so you've got newspaper clippings, you've got stuff out of, did Woman, you say? Woman's Weeklies, are those three yep. there? Uh, Woman's Day is this one over here. Yep. With the EK on it. Yep. And they were from the post office. So the stamp issues. Oh, the stamps, yep. Oh, wow. I'd go in there and say... Have you got a poster for these stamps that are coming out? Oh, yeah, but they'll be on the wall for six, six months. Yeah, okay. And, then and they'd you, write me name down. Yeah, when the, bags when, them. Uh, when they uh, finish with them, they'd ring me up and say, come and get your poster. Yeah, we used to do oh, similar so, things yeah. in the video shop in the day. To get, oh, I yeah, loved it. You know, they, they were beautiful photos. Yeah. You know? So is it just that you can't go past something that has Holden written on it? You have to, whether it be a piece of paper or, yeah, a, pretty a, well, or yeah. an ashtray or anything. Yeah, I, I, um, I grew up in the area where Holden was all over the roads, in the bush, in the country. Yeah. When you left school, you just wanted a, an old Holden, or back then a Holden. Yeah. And of course, that was my first one, the FC. Bought that at 16. Yep. Drove it a thousand miles to Carafa with 200 miles of dirt road. Yeah, back in those days, that was quite and a trek, wasn't it? And, they, and never had a problem with it, you know. Yeah. I've, and that was a rough road. Geez. Yeah, I oh, bet it was. And, but they were, they were built tough to take that sort of treatment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, there's plenty of advertising here from... From everywhere. <laughs> so, what would be your what would be your your best advertising piece? What do you think is the piece that speaks to you the most? The rarest piece, or the uh, hardest to find, or the one with the best story behind it? Yeah, well, well the, the the 1976 one. I took that out of the paper in '76. Okay. I would have been 22 <laughs> years old. I was born in '76. <laughs> <laughs> I was 22 years old, and I, I pulled that out of the paper and I folded it up. And when I came down to Pinjarra, I, I got it laminated. And of course, when I moved over here, yep. I was stuck on a wall. I was quite proud of that one. And then, of course, that was the 1988. Yep. At 76, 88, yeah. Uh, well, the, the funny thing about the one from 76 is that this was, is Holdens that you don't think are Holdens, yeah, doesn't it? You this, know, this, this was um, 50 years of General Motors Holden from 1926 to 1976. Yeah. And, um, yeah, a lot of people don't realise that Holden were assembling... Chevs, Pontiacs, Vauxhalls, Oldsmobiles, yep. anything anything was made by General Motors in America was assembled in Australia yep. by Holden, the Holden family. And that would make the FX the first body they built then, would it? The first body built by Holden? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, yeah. they were actually assembled, they, they made the first um, two in, in America. Okay. Oh, no, three. The first three oh, wow, that's interesting. Assembled, assembled in America, that's number one there. Okay. And then when they, they shipped them over in 46, 47. Yep. Then they built two more here. He had five prototypes. Okay. And there's only two left. There's that one which Holden kept. Yep. Well, no, Holden didn't keep that one. A guy, one of the dealers kept it, and he sat on it for years and years and years, and, and then, then, then a bloke in Victoria discovered what it was, and he fully restored it. It's in the um, Canberra Museum, I think, now. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that was the I'll first go back next time I'm back. number one. <laughs> Yep. And that's, nine, I'd written 1946 on there because they didn't put it on there. Yeah, okay. Because they all say, oh, it's a 48, but that one's not. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> It's 46. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, awesome. Now, I, the, other, the other thing I'm noticing is you've got a lot of grills yeah. in here. Now, 
One from every model, apparently. I've got, got. I've got every grill from FX up to HZ before, yep. before pre Commodore. Yeah. Yep. Well, you've got WV, so don't stop at HZ. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, there, there is the odd Commodore. Oh, there's a couple of Commodore ones out there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, so, I, I made a, I made an omission to get one of every, every of every Holden up to HZ, which I class as a the Australian Holden because Commodore, even though it's an Australian car, it was still it's an Opal version. Yeah, Opal, yeah that's yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Whereas it was up to HZ, they were Australian designed and built. They, yeah. There was no other car anywhere else the same as that. That's the way I looked at it. Yeah, yeah. nice. So where was where did you find the first grill? What kicked that off? Was it, again, just the collecting bug? Or was it something that well, you found one of and went, ooh, well, I'll, I'll try and get them all? I went up to um, Mora and yep. just past Mora there was a farm. And is, I seen the old ute out in the paddock and yep. I thought, so I went in there and I said to the farmer, any chance of getting the grill off that old? Yeah, he said you can take the ute if you want it, but it was pretty yeah. pretty had it. Yeah. So I bought that home, and that's when I sort of made me mind up. Well, I'll go and get one of every one. Yeah. Yeah, nice. And um, so from that point, how long did it take you to? Oh, to it get took them a all? few. It took a few years. I'd yeah. imagine it would have. Yeah. Uh, and like I say, the HQ was the last one to track down. It was so hard to find one. Yet, yeah. Okay. Yet they made more HQs than any other model. Yeah. So it just shows you. Mm, yeah. yeah. I remember just out of Raven was probably. 25 FX FJs all stacked up in a big heap. Yeah. And I took I took that FJ bar up the top off one. Yep. But I wish I'd taken a photo just of the heap. You know, the photo alone would have been. And they, of course. Yeah, it would have been, yeah. They yeah. got crushed and taken away eventually. Yeah. But I should have went and got all the ID plates and everything off them. But you don't think back then, you know. No, you no, think no, they're going to be there forever. Yeah, yeah. No, hindsight's one of those troubling yeah, things. Isn't that's it? right. That's <laughs> we right. We yeah. never like living with hindsight, but anyway. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Right, yep. so here's the FB couch. Yep. Mate, this looks really awesome. So yeah. you've, you've made this one up yourself? Yep, yeah. Cut this off an old parts car when I had my EK ute. Yep. And set her up. Um, so this is the back of a ute or a sedan? Back of a sedan, yeah. Okay, yeah. You just take the boot out and, yeah. and run a bit of framework. Yep. And then sheet it and then sit the cushions on it, yeah. Yeah. Same with, with the one over there, yeah. And these work... Um, they sort of work with really well, don't they, with these big chrome Oh, they're lights, beautiful, these, yeah. You know, yeah. Plenty of chrome and they look good, eh? Yeah. yeah. No, that's of it. course, there's a dash out of an FJ ute. Yep. A whole dash, the lot. Now, you were saying that a bloke you know drags old stuff in out of the bush and just yeah. cuts anything any good out of them. Yeah, he'll, even take, if he'll take an old wreck that's been rolled and rusted sitting in the creek bed for years and and uh, surprise what he can cut out of that and people buy it off him because yep. it's a rust repair section it's not rusty you know that's right and it's the original holding steel too that's right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i've only had that about 12 months yep you know over 12 months ago it would have been sitting in the creek bed <laughs> just lying out in the sun since 1960 <laughs> yeah. something yeah, yeah that's probably. right yeah. yeah now it's um now it is something you know yeah, yeah. now that's unreal isn't it oh i love it yeah, yeah. that's for sure now you mentioned these cars up here. You've got pictures of on the wall. You mentioned the Hughes Fer brothers. Hughes brothers, was yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. They, yeah. They, they had a big Holden restoration museum at, in the Bendigo Pottery in Bendigo. Yeah, that's where I went over to, to see it, and they had one of every model. Oh, wow. The, the the quality of their work was unbelievable. And that's the two old fellows there. Yep. I think they may have passed by now because they were in their eighties, and that would have been in the nineties. So, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. A convertible HR. Look at yeah, that. Um, I don't know what the story is there, but it's there. It looks quite good, doesn't it? It, it looked like it's come out of the factory. It yeah. does, man. Yeah, yeah. It's well done. No, so these these guys were obviously craftsmen back in their day, then, weren't they? You they, know, they like, yeah, they, yeah. Um, they were the first ones to find one of the old station wagons that Cordell put together. Oh, yeah, we saw one had, of those yeah. recently out at um, Whiteman's Park. Whiteman Park. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what it, they done one of those up. No, well, that wasn't made by Holden. It was made by a company called Cordell. Yeah, that's what. I, yeah, they yeah, retro. Yeah. They took a. A sedan and sedan put and the back end on it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. yeah. And uh, that's yeah. out of an old bank had that one. And that red one came from the same bank. Oh, okay. And they had that made up and a mate of mine Yeah, wow. A mate of mine had a neighbour that worked in the bank. And she said, I'll, I'll get them for you when they, you know, finish with them. So yeah. here they are. And that was oh, that was in the nineteen eighties, yeah. yeah. Looking at your bits and pieces over here, we were talking about swan taxis yeah. earlier. So you're saying that that was on the front of all the Swan taxis back in the day, or mo a lot of them? Most of them, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you've got different coloured wings. Yep. You've got blue, reds, greens. Yeah, wow. And uh, I was quite surprised to see a black one, actually. I got that off a fella in Bunbury. I, a young um, 
my sister-in-law's son found that body in an old shed when I cleaned it out. Yeah. And a mate in Bunbury said, I've got a pair of wings that'll fit that. So Perfect. Ken bucks, he sold me the wings. And a mate made me that for my 40th birthday, and I'm 69 this year. Yeah. Because I used to call me EK, me you beaut you. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so he, so he made yeah. he made that. Uh, that was a really good job he done on that. Yeah, right. and that's what you do with an old FBEK bonnet when you're bored and got nothing to do. Yeah, I trace, I trace, yep. I trace the pictures and then yep. sketch them in there. Yep. Seven one eight is the phone. Seven one eight, yeah. yeah. That is hilarious. I've got a pair there. Well, they're good spares for my uh, panel van. Mm. All right. So what can you tell us about? This front end here, because I've noticed he's got a crazy headlight set up in it. Yep. And there's some custom stuff going on here. Where did you pick this thing up? About, would have been nearly 30 years ago now. Yeah. Uh, I went out to Midland, a bloke was wrecking an old FJ, and um, I was chasing a back guard. And th this was sitting on the ground, not the bonnet, but just the two guards are welded to the front panel there. Oh, okay, so they're all yeah, welded across. And it was just yeah. sitting on the ground, he'd unbolted the car because he was pulling it apart. Yeah. And I said to him, oh, that's a beauty. What are you doing with that? And he said, it's going to the rubbish tip. If you want it, take it. And that's where it is now. It's been here, <laughs> been here for 28 years. Nice. But I'll tell yeah. you what, someone who's doing a custom build, though, oh, this, would perfect, just, yeah. this would just slot straight on the front, wouldn't In it? In the know? 60s, I mean, they've done everything you could think of on an FJ. They've yeah, different yeah. grills, different headlights, scammer well, sunk them, stretched them out. The modifications that they did back in those days just leave us in the dust. Oh, some you know, of, like, some these of, days, everything's getting schmick and shiny and all yeah, the rest of it. Yeah, I get that, but... Yeah. You know, back in those days, people just weren't afraid to get the grinder out, were Cut, they? Yeah, and, and just chuck go another for it. grill in it, whatever, yeah. So what do you reckon those lights are out of? We had a couple of guesses, well, didn't we? Scout was one. I'm thinking of Toyota Stout because it's wider up the top here than the bottom. Okay. Because they went this way. Yeah. And the international trucks had them like that, but they yep. were up and down. And I just think it might be Stout, but I could be wrong. I can't find no Maker's Mark on it, you know? Yeah. Well, if anyone out there knows and can identify these, chuck it in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. You are talking about all your grills up here on the wall. So these were your first ones that yep. you collected. That was right. number one, the, the, the 36 Ford pickup yep. or truck one. Come from the uh, Nickel River Mine in Crafer, uh, 1976 I took that home. Yeah, nice. And um, that's where she started from there. And then this came north of Robin on an old pl place out there. with was a few old cars. Yep. And the Joe at Bradford, that's that little round one, looks at, it's a little English panel van it was. Oh, OK. And the bulldozer had run over it, flattened it out, but the radio grill was just was sitting up sitting like that. Yeah, it was the only okay. part he yeah. never squashed. Yeah, right. And it's a quite a rare, unique little car, yeah. Yeah. So this is the this is really the, the bones, the, the beginning start of it. The start of it, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the start of it, yeah. I love these old grills like that. They just stood out and they just work hard, I thought. Yeah. But, um, and I noticed yeah. your old indicator stock there. For the young kiddies, they wouldn't even know what that thing is. Yeah, that's right. This that's is this is how 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 it went in its old days. Yeah, because that's it right. The, yeah, that went down the side of the door like that. And it swung out, didn't it? So yeah. if you wanted to turn left, you go like that. If you wanted to brake, and you're going that way, you put your arm out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just for curiosity's sake, my goodness. Someone spent some time drinking Fosters for an yeah. afternoon. They must have been brave. You're and then the missus crack. got the crochet, <laughs> the crochet stuff out. Yeah, yeah. So should we uh, wade our way to the next part? So yeah, got a there's your Stato, H grill. HT. Is that a Speedo cluster Yeah, or that's a Speedo. I think it's a Pontiac. Yeah. Okay. Around the 57 year. So and you've got lots of parts here. Heaps of... Like, people would see this as a, a spare parts yard more than anything, I think. Neon sign? Yeah, that one's got sign. Apollo, that sign's got Barina this side, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that were good, yeah. yeah. Does that still light up? Yeah, it should do. You want to sell it? <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, so we've, we've talked about a couple of your mates that you've lost over the years, and here's another piece of yeah, this memorial is... for another another good friend of yours. Yeah, Ed Hankinson, who was a very good uh, mate of mine and um, a very staunch holding man. He had yep. a couple of FJs and... Uh, a good collection of stuff, and sadly, cancer got him at 62. Yep. It was a sad loss of a good bloke. This, that's him there. That's yep. in, in his shed, actually. And, um, ah, yeah. And I noticed the Barina sign behind him. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's here, right. So, yeah. yeah. So I found a Ford part. Yeah, well, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a Ford, Ford mate that comes here. I've got to keep everybody happy when they come here. Yeah, fair <laughs> so enough. I, I always tell him that that's the last time they made a good one. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <than> 28. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Nice. Now, you're saying... 
something about the badge that I didn't know that interested me greatly. <coughs> That's got the original Ford black emblem. Yeah. When the first A models come out with, with that emblem. And then during the A model they changed it to blue and it's been blue ever since. So yeah, that's right. quite an early... Uh, that tells you that's a very early A model grill, yeah. So the original Ford badges were black back, not yeah. blue. You know yeah, what? Yeah, because before before that badge came out they just had to press Ford in the tin. Okay, yep. On C models and stuff like that. Alright, back to the old stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's enough Ford stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, um, was that a 303? <coughs> Without the barrel by the look of it. No, no. No, it's all there. That's me mate made that, that's all wood. Uh, I was going to say, this didn't quite look right. Wow! Look at that. Barrel's wood. It's all wood. He is. He can make anything you want. He's brilliant. All wood. Look at this. The only thing metal is a trigger Hell guard. Yeah. yeah, the trigger guard, the side at the ends, it, you know. He is unbelievable. Nice. Yeah, so, no detail spared either, you know, the sight, the whole oh, lot, everything. Yeah, he's... he's Just yeah. need a big bayonet on the front of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is very cool. I like that. I love these Holden ads. So these are the Woman's Day ones you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, Woman's Weekly. The these Woman's Weekly, three yeah. are. Because back in the 50s, they were getting a message out that women can drive Can drive, yeah. They were yeah. easy to drive. Yep. And, and that's why you see women in all the ads. Yeah. And when I found that out, I kept going. Every, I went to old op shops and you'd find them. Back in them days, you'd find a big heap. And yep. I'd go through them. And Pick out now, I know oh, I can't find them now. Yeah, everything cycles through, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it disappears. That's a painting on my panel then done by Jenny Sanders. You heard of Jenny Sanders? I think I might have. She bought calendars out, placemats, jigsaws. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah she passed yeah. away this year. Okay. And she uh, painted that one of your van for you? Yeah, I've got the original hanging up inside, and that, no, that came awesome. out of the calendars that uh, that year. Oh, okay, so they've made her calendar. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. She, that came out of her calendar in 2001, I think it was. And there's me and my FB. No, oh, yeah. another hole in my head. Yep. Geez, that's a few years ago. Yeah, no, you're <laughs> looking sprightly there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I um, I shipped that FB up to Caratha when they had the Ocean Freeway. It was a ship that took, okay. took yep. a lot of gear up for the bar. Yep. And I shipped it up on that, and um, I sold that up there. And then when I moved down here a few years later, I was driving along, and I thought. Well, there's an FB, same colour as mine. I got behind it, it was the same one. He, oh, wow. He, he bought it down when he moved down. But, yeah, uh, awesome. Yeah, so... Uh, All right, well, man, there's so much. But um, your lovely lady has bought us out some bickies. Yeah, have a look at that. Cut. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got this beast sitting right here. Now, it looks like it's a dedicated gas car. Is that right? Yeah, it's a... Runs it's, on gas? Yeah, it runs on gas, all right, because it heats up the barbie plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's yeah. open this up and have a look. Right. Aussie barbecue. Awesome. Oh, look at this. Many a barbecue has had over this thing, I would imagine. Oh, for sure, yeah. Every, every I've had my birthdays on this. Yep. Australia Day, Christmas. Excellent. Um, even Mother's Day, drag it out and burn a few bang, bangers on it, yeah. Well, you couldn't get much more Aussie than this on Australia nah. Day, could you? No, nah, that's right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dead right, yeah. It's, it's perfect, yeah. Now, I noticed it had a drawbar on it. So yeah. it used to go around, did it, or behind a car? When, when it lived in Bridgetown, he used to tow it around Bridgetown to different do's in town. Yeah, awesome. And then, of course, when I got it here, um, it was a very long drawbar and it just... Oh, OK. And so, I wasn't yeah, going to was... take it anywhere else, so I cut the end off and yep. put the jockey wheel right up this end. Because mm -hmm. it only goes out here now. Just pull it, push it out for the barbie and push it back in, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. got a Monaro compliance plate on it, so make it with the Monaro flutes on the guard, so... Yeah, oh, yeah. actual Monaro... ID plate, ID yeah. plate. Oh, okay. Found that a few years ago. Yeah. So I was quite surprised that I had it in my possession. It wasn't yeah. until I checked it out one day and I thought, oh, it's a bloody Monaro. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> so and off, you... off come the Premier One and I went to HK Monaro. And where'd you find that one? You said you scratched that up out of the back. Found and... it out along Pinjaro Road. There used to be some old wrecks out in the back paddock. Yep. And I found it sticking out of the sand one day. There must have been a Monaro wreck there years ago. There was nothing else left of it. Yeah. And I didn't even know that was a Monaro. I just put it in my pocket and then... Maybe yeah. someone else pinched the tag and it fell yeah. out of their pocket well, and went yeah. dunk into the sand, <laughs> mate. Yeah. yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. yeah. I, I had the radio done up. The radio's in the dash there. It's got the original radio on it. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Is it working, yeah. Right? yeah, it was working, yeah. Yeah, wow. That's pretty cool. Built by the late, great Trevor Roberts, Trevor Roberts from Bridgetown. Yep. So he was, a, he was a mate of yours back in the day, I believe, yeah, Trevor. Yeah, yeah. everybody knew Trevor. From yeah, you've mentioned him a few times today, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. Oh, it was great to have something in his memory then. Yeah, that's head. right, yeah. yeah. Yep. 
I've got some more rust over here too. And that's a, and that's a wife saver here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Can't figure this even with that, mate. <laughs> that's got nothing to do with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that the yeah. 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 Personalised number plates and all, mate. I love it. <laughs> So this is another one of the wrecks that Nick cut up in, in Geraldton. Okay, yeah. So he, he, he another one he dragged in out of the out he, of nowhere. Yeah. He said there's three different FJs that's made out of. Okay. He found that you know guard was soldier off one, off yeah, another yeah, one, yeah. a bit of the bonnet off another. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did I put on it? Oh, I, it had no headlights. Yeah. I had a couple of old surrounds and headlights, so I put the headlights in it, and then and I just painted everything with a rust paint. Because it sits out here. It's good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, the air but out here is pretty salty. Yeah, I've got my little bug ear emblem there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is where I've got all my little model cars and and my tr prized little possessions. Yep. And one of my top possessions is this bugger here. It's a ripper. Yeah. Wow. Off an FX FJ that were made for them. So bonnet spear. Yeah, bonnet yep. um, emblem. Or, uh, you want to call it a spear? I, yeah. I can't say I've ever seen that style it's, before. It's, it's beautiful. Look yeah. That. Yeah. Love no, it. Awesome. I'm thinking about putting it on mine, but oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. Looks better in the cupboard as a conversation yeah, piece. Yeah, maybe. probably, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And um, this is the only one dinky car's made of an Australian car that made the EJ. Oh, wow. Look at that, eh? That Bonnet. must be pretty. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that must yeah. be pretty, pretty yeah. rare. That was the only, only Australian hold in the dinkies made. Yeah, okay. Dinky toys, yeah. So there you go. And you've got one. That's unreal. Yeah. That's back in the heyday when um, Holden were really hitting the straps. Whoops. Yep. It's yeah. a painting by Jenny Sanders there. And there's Brocky's plate. Well, my plate signed by Brocky in 2003 when I was at the Summer Nats. Oh, nice. Yeah, that yep. was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That's another Jenny Sanders calendar, uh, card. Yep. She's got her stuff everywhere. I love yeah. this tin here. That was a beauty. Yeah, the that's a ripper, it. eh? That panel man looks mint. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. As soon as someone tells me the tin's out of some shop. Yeah, where well, you go, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I used to get all the tracks for years, but now uh, I don't get them now because they, they went from die cast to um, resin. Oh, really? Yeah, and they got a bit dearer, so... I've... Yeah, I haven't bought one in a long time, yeah, but I've, got, I've here, got a lot yeah. of the panel vans. I like the vans, Yeah, uh, yeah. being a panel van, but, a... as people know. And um, I'm very jealous about what you've got in your corner over there. That would look fantastic oh, in my bar. That's... That would just look that's, awesome. That's a beauty. I'll bring it out a bit. I believe these are only issued to the Holden dealers. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. That's my prized possession, that. I love that. It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Um... And of course, another one I love. You grab it while he's not looking. <laughs> I'll distract him. <laughs> yeah. Another one I do like is this one here. Oh, I went and seen it when it came to Perth. Yeah, and I've man, seen it. I've seen it is... in the flesh before, and it was beautiful. Oh, yeah. I said to the guy, "Can I take it for a spin?" He said, "Mate, we helped build it. We're not allowed to drive it." Yeah, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> it it was so awesome. Yeah, I just can't believe a, a car dealer, a car manufacturer. Put so much into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like it's like yeah. well, you were telling me earlier. I mean, this has been a, an education for me, guys. Let me tell you, being here today, but yeah. you're saying that it went to America and won. It, it won stuff uh, in the best hot rod, and the only one ever built by a car manufacturer yeah. to win the hot rod car of the year in America. Yeah, when they took it over there. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's a pretty Which big is, accolade, really, isn't it? It is. When you, you know, look at America's like, hot rods, there's millions of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To go in there and um, show them a thing or two is awesome. Oh, another swan. Yeah, my, mate, wow. my mate that made all the wood, he made the wings. Yep. Because I got that old body and was thinking about um, trying to find some wings for it. And he ended up making these wood ones and I said, oh, I can't put that on a car. So yep. that's where it's staying. Uh, that's, one of, that's one of my wife's. I better put it back up there or I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> one nice. of the few things she's got here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say you had to let something in somewhere, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. We've got um, the classic golden graveyard picture yeah, up on the wall. Yeah, and my. Yeah, this is. Yeah, I think that, and it's not a secret anymore. It's in Tiawi in South Australia. Okay. Little town there. Yeah. And my uncle painted that for me, probably 98, 99, yeah. Okay. And uh, he's passed away now, but he's done a very good job on that. Very yeah. happy with that. No, that looks great. And that's. What's that, the fourth artwork we've seen of your car here um, yep. throughout our, our walking around? So you've, you've had quite a few drawings and bits and pieces done of your vehicles over the years. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
There's my clock over there. Oh, is that a cuckoo clock? Yeah, the FJ comes out. <laughs> that is super cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. I just thought it was a little diorama of a no, garage, no. but it's a cuckoo clock. If you plug in it, that FJ will come out on the stroke and then go back. rev up a bit and then goes back in. <laughs> well, I haven't had a gun for a while because I pulled Absolutely. the plug out on it. And, it, and if you go to Keller Brown, tell me, mate, Richard, yep. I'm still looking after his picture. <laughs> <laughs> You'll know what you've so you, uh, Yeah, you <laughs> sort of bought this out from under his nose, didn't Snuck you? Snuck it out of yeah. Tamman, yeah. <laughs> well, you've got to take it what you can. Right? Yeah, that's right. If he's a good mate, you'll understand. Yeah, yeah. that's right, yeah. <laughs> All right, Tony, thanks heaps for having us here today, mate. You've got an amazing collection of, of just stuff from a whole a whole lifetime of collecting, and it's been yeah. amazing to have a look at. It's probably 40 years in here, yeah. Yeah, and that when we're not even mentioning the... The van, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> at this point, yeah, yeah. you know, which is a, which is an awesome van as well, really yeah. clean, really beautiful van. Love so, it, yeah. mate, thanks so much for having us out today. Yeah, no worries. And, yeah. Um, Proud to show it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah and hopefully, to to hopefully, we'll see you out around the traps in some of the shows and that sort of thing. Yeah. But anyway, mate, we've had a we've had a great time out here today. It's been awesome learning about your collection and also yeah. the legacy of your mates in here yeah, as well yeah, that you're holding yeah. on to tightly. I really love seeing that stuff oh, too. I wish mate, I were so. here. That'd, that'd be, yeah, I'll be. Be great. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah. but anyway, it's great to see their their memory living on. Yep. In your shed here, mate. So, um, Fantastic, yeah. Yep, yeah, awesome, mate. We'll see you uh, around the traps. Not a problem, yeah. Party while you can. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>